everyone, it's Lara from the blog ArtWillieHouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple, all natural DIY hair protectant spray. So this spray is going to be perfect to use on your hair before blow drying it or using any type of heat styling tools on your hair. And it's going to help to protect your hair against any damage done by heat. So for this recipe, you only need a few ingredients. We're gonna use a couple carrier oils. Now you can use a different carrier oil than the ones that I'm mentioning here, depending on your hair type or what you have on hand or what you prefer. And then you're going to need a conditioner and then also you have the option of using essential oils. Now for this, we're going to put it in a spray bottle. If you are using essential oils, you'll want to use a glass spray bottle because essential oils can break down plastic over time. So it's important if you're using essential oils to use glass or metal. They do have some plastic bottles that are really thick and are safe for essential oils. So be mindful of that. Now, like I said, the essential oils are optional, but there are several essential oils that are really good for your hair. So these oils are gonna help to benefit, help strengthen and even lengthen your hair. So my favorite ones to use are lavender and rosemary. Other ones that are really good for hair are peppermint, sandalwood and tea tree oil. So. You can kind of decide on which ones you want. You can use a blend of oils or even just a single oil, totally optional to how you want to do it. So to make this spray, you're going to start off by adding in one teaspoon of fractionated coconut oil, two teaspoons of sweet almond oil, two teaspoons of your favorite conditioner. I like to use a natural conditioner. I even have a recipe for conditioner, which I will link here up in the cards one cup of distilled water, 10 drops of essential oil. Just add all the ingredients straight into a spray bottle and then shake it all up until everything is well combined. And now your spray is ready to go. To use your spray, you're gonna want to apply it to damp hair. So after you take a shower and your hair is wet before blow drying it, you can spray a generous amount all in your hair blow dry your hair after you blow dry it. You can lightly mist it again with the spray before using a curling iron or a straightener. And that's just going to help to protect your hair against these heat styling tools. Now, this spray is okay to leave in your hair. You obviously don't have to re-rinse it out. So you can use it and then just style your hair like normal. And then it's going to be great for your hair. This spray also works well as a leave-in conditioner because of the moisturizing properties of it. So you can use it for that as well. If you are new to my channel, be sure to check out all of my resources down in the description box below. I also have all the ingredients and things that I used here linked down in the description box so you know where to find them. And I also have some free eBooks and some essential oil roller bottle labels, a free essential oil class, lots of resources for you. So be sure to go check those out and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and I share lots of different healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by our Willie House.